In this lesson, I want to introduce the use of tables and table views, table view rows uh, within Titanium. And I'm going to do this uh, using uh, and building off of what we did uh, previously with navigation. So the example that I want to build is the following. So I'm going to have a list uh, that is embedded within sort of a navigation view. And uh, when I select a um, an item in the list, uh, we'll get a new view that has uh, the, uh, the name of the row plus some other information within the row. And, and this would represent you know, showing more detail based on some information that uh, one might have collected, um, uh, either information in a database or something that you're getting from a service. Uh, but I want to illustrate uh, the basics of how to use these, uh, these list views um, with this uh, with this particular podcast. Okay, so let's uh, let's begin by creating our um, our application. And uh, there's essentially two modules that I want to create. I've got uh, the files created for them already. There's list win and detail. Uh, and I'm going to have as my base the um, the um, the app.js. And I'm going to create a window in this. And uh, again, use some of the basic uh, properties that I've used before. Uh, in this case, I'm going to do a layout of uh, vertical, although I don't know that um, that's going to have an impact on this particular application. Um, and then the other thing that I want to do is I'm going to create a, uh, an array. And this is the, uh, the data array that we're going to be visualizing within the, uh, within the list. So I'm just going to put um, four items in the list. And uh, so essentially using this basic constructor for arrays. Um, and then uh, what I need to do also is uh, I want to uh, create a navigation view. So nav equals ti.ui. iPhone create navigation group. Okay, so uh, this is the basics of uh, of my app. I do need to create uh, a couple of uh, of modules here. The first one is a module that I'm going to use for creating um, a table. And so I'm going to do that in this uh, file called listwin. Um, and to just um, uh, basically set this up, I'm going to say that table requires UI slash listwin. And then I'm going to go ahead and create my listwin module. <clears throat> OK. so. Um, in this module, I'm going to uh, I'm going to be creating a window uh, that will be added to my navigation group. And so let me go ahead and start this. Um, and then the things I want to include here, I, I want to be able to uh, with this window or, or and with this list um, add a table uh, of data. And so this is the array of data that I'm going to pass in. And then I'm going to place a title on the window. And then um, I'm also going to uh, uh, pass along uh, the uh, navigation, uh, the uh, the link to the navigation object um, that I'm um, I created in the other file. Okay, so um, just to start off my module, um, I want to make sure that I get the um, piece in here that does the export. Um, and then uh, what I'm going to do is create uh, my, uh, my table view. I'm going to create um, a, a window in which to, uh, to add that table view into. And, and then I'm also going to create a, a method for reacting to what, uh, what happens when you select a row. OK, so um, let's start off with um, creation of the table view. Um, I'm going to create table view and 
this autocorrect. Maybe I should figure out how to turn that off at some point. Uh, table view. Okay, and I don't know that I need any properties, but one of the uh, things that you might do with a table is to just uh, uh, place a property in there so that if you ever need to iterate through a number of different objects, you can identify them uh, using something like the object name property. Okay, so uh, I need to create a, an array, uh, an empty array that I'm going to add table uh, view rows to. Uh, and so I'm going to initialize that array here. And then I'm going to use um, a loop for iterating through the data array. Okay. And what we will do with this loop is uh, uh, for each one of the items within the array, we're going to create a new table row. So I'm going to iterate um, through the size of the table, or sorry, size of the array. And then I'm going to create a row for each one of the items in the array. So I'll use um, an object called uh, a table view row. And I'm going to create that here with this command, table view row. And for the properties, um, I'm going to, again, use this object name list win row so I know uh, whether or not I've encountered a row within a table and then I'm going to provide an index for the uh, for the row as a property so this is coming from the loop iteration and then for the actual uh, data within the row I'm going to use the list item so I have my array and then the ith item in that array. Okay, and then finally, I need to put this into the uh, table data array. So I'm going to push that row. OK. So now that I've created the, um, uh, the data for the table, I'm going to add that to the uh, to the table. And then finally, I need to create the window that everything is going to be placed into. So um, I'm going to dot UI create window. And then set a title based on the title that was passed in as the parameter. And then for the table, um, I'm, as a table property, just so that I know which table um, is embedded in the window, I'm going to um, add that uh, table, uh, table view here. And then finally, I'm going to add Table to the to the window and return self. Okay, so these properties here again are uh, this uh, this title property is going to be used by the navigation window um, so that it's uh, displayed within the navigation and then um, just so that I have some sort of link to the table, I'm going to have this uh, this little pointer here or this property uh, to the uh, to the table I've created and then finally adding the table to the, uh, to the view. Uh, there's one more piece that I need to create, and that would be um, creating a, an event listener for um, reacting to an actual um, uh, list item press. But I'm going to go ahead and build here, and we'll view this in the simulator and see uh, what we have so far. So just a moment here to compile.
So what we should end up seeing is a, a list with one of those items um, corresponding to the items that I, I placed in the original array. So let's see. Oh, um, not seeing anything yet here. Did I open? I did not open the window. Um, actually, I didn't do everything that I needed to with uh, with the window. So let's go back and finish this piece. So I actually need to. Uh, oh, I need to add the. Um, uh, I need to add the table. This new table to my window. Uh, and add it to, or I have to add the table to the navigation and then add the navigation to the, um, to the window. So let me complete doing that. So um, let's see, so we actually have to instantiate the table, so new table, and I need to provide to it um, the data. So that's the array that I've created. I need to provide a title, let me just say numbers, and then the name of the navigation. And then um, I need to set the window for nav equal to table. <clears throat> okay, and then again, um, this table here, this is going to be a window. And actually, let me name this better. I'll call it table window. Um, and then I need to add the navigation to the window and then finally open the window. All right. This is what I actually need to execute. Let's do that. Again, just a moment here before the uh, simulator displays. Okay, so there is my, uh, this is my table, and nothing happens here yet with, um, with the table. I need to uh, write a couple more things in order for that to work. But just to kind of recap what we've done so far, I've got um, an array, and I want to display that array. So I've created a, um, a list module to do that. And in that module, I've created a table view, um, added a number of rows to an array, made that array the data for the table view, and then added that to a window. Uh, and then that gets uh, put into a navigation. Um, all right, so what we need to do now is uh, implement the piece for uh, displaying uh, a reaction to selection of a particular row within that window. Um, and so what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to do that in the next lesson. Um, we'll see how to react to uh, different clicks uh, or the different uh, uh, events within a list uh, or within a, within a table. And, and then we'll display a new uh, view that has some data from, um, from the row. Anyway, that concludes this lesson.